What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to fix Grand Theft Auto Vice City for Steam in 2021. We're going to learn how to restore some music, fix a ton of bugs, fix the widescreen aspect ratios, fix the frame limiter options, enable the ability to move the camera in the car, and much more. So first things first, make sure you have a fresh install of Vice City. If you've tampered with it or done anything to it, make sure you right click it, go to properties, click local files, Verify integrity of the game files. And this is just going to make sure that everything that you need is there and that anything that you've put in there is now gone. Okay, all files were successfully validated. So we have a good copy of Vice City. So the first thing we're going to want to download is the downgrade. We want to downgrade the game because the newer versions of the game are missing music and a bunch of other things. So go ahead and download the downgrade. Make sure you have WinRAR. If you do not have WinRAR, I will have a link in the description below. WinRAR is going to allow you to open these files that have a bunch of smaller files inside of it. It's free. Link will be in the description. So we're going to open the downgrade. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this downgrade and put it into our Vice City folder. Now, if you don't know where your Vice City folder is, that's fine. You can right click again, go to Properties, Local Files, and click Browse. This is going to open your Vice City folder, and it should look something like this. So, first things first, let's just make it so you guys can see both of these things. Now, you're already going to have a GTA Vice City EXE in here, along with a Test App EXE. Now, if you want, you can always create a new file. And write backup and you can put them in there or alternatively you can delete them I usually delete them but if you want to play things safe make a file that says backup and drag those two things into the backup folder then we're going to go ahead and drag the new Vice City EXE into the Vice City folder this is the downgraded one so now that we have that we're on a good start the next thing we're going to want to download is the silent patch. The link will be in the description just like everything else. Make sure you get the ddraw component. This is the draw distance component along with the Vice City patch. Don't get Grand Theft Auto 3 or San Andreas. It won't work with your Vice City. So let's go ahead and download that. The silent patch. Just like the other folders, you're going to open them up in your WinRAR. Now let me pull up the Vice City folder here so you all can see what I'm about to do. So the Silent Patch ASI and the Silent Patch INI, they can just be dragged into here. The data, however, you're going to want to go in here. And what you do is you just double click data, double click maps, and it's going to bring this up. We're going to select all of these. And we're going to go into our Vice City. We're going to kick the same stuff. So data, maps. And we're going to drag this over into the Vice City folder. We're going to replace the files. Now, when you're dragging folders or files into the Vice City, make sure you're not dropping them in folders that already exist. So I usually make sure that it's down here where it's not by a folder, it's just by files, so that it doesn't get dropped into one of these and mess up your directory. So we've got those in there, and we have the silent patch ASI. Let's go back to the main area of our Vice City folder. We are good to go in the silent patch. Now we're going to put our draw distance component into our Vice City folder. Super simple. Just drag and drop and you're done. Next up is the Grand Theft Auto Vice City widescreen fix. This is going to help you if you have an ultra wide monitor or a widescreen in general. Typically, widescreen monitors are the norm now, unless you're playing on something that's extremely old. So you're going to want to download this. It's going to fix the HUD and make things look much prettier. Link will be in the description, as always. Scroll down. It's the first one here at the top. We're going to click it and download it. We're going to open it with WinRAR, just like the other programs. And all you're going to do is just drag and drop both files into your Vice City. Super simple. 
the next thing we're going to download is the Clio library. And this is going to help enable the frame limit issue that we're going to download next. Typically, when you try to run this game in a higher amount of frames, it's impossible to drive a vehicle. The cars will not reverse. When you let go of the gas, it's like somebody has the e-brake jammed and the car will stop pretty much instantly and it ruins the gameplay entirely. So in order to do that, we need to download the Clio library for Vice City. So again, make sure you're not downloading them for the other games or you'll mess it up. We're going to go ahead and open this Clio file with WinRAR. We're going to go ahead and drag it into our Vice City folder. Like I said, make sure you're not dragging things into other folders here. Drag it into the bottom area if you can. That way you're not putting like the Clio folder inside of the backup folder and then you can't find it or it doesn't work properly. So once we have that installed, we're good. Now we're going to want to download the frame limit adjuster, which is a great tool. Again, link will be in the description. Go ahead and download it. Open it up with your WinRAR. Go inside the Clio folder. Make sure you click Vice City. We're going to take this file here, .cs, and we are going to put it in this Clio folder. Actually, you know what? Let's take both of them just to play it safe. So there you go. You have it in here. Now, when you have it in this, this Clio folder, you can actually right click on it and rename it. This number here is the value of frames that you want. So right now it's set to 60 frames. You can change it to 61 or whatever best suits you. I wouldn't go too high just because this game is a little bit older and you could experience some bugs if you set the frame rate too high. Usually 60, 61 is more than enough and it's going to look a lot smoother than playing with 30 frames per second. Another great addition that we can add in is the ability to move the camera angles while driving a vehicle. The old Grand Theft Auto games traditionally only have four camera angles while you're driving a vehicle. The standard camera angle, which is behind the car while you're driving it, you're looking at the car, you're driving forward. The reverse angle where the camera is in front of the car and you're looking backwards as you're reversing. And then both left and right side camera angles for doing drive-bys. With this mod or fix, you're actually able to look all around with your mouse while driving, sort of like in GTA 5, and it makes seeing things a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and download this just like everything else and open it with WinRAR. Go ahead and go for the Vice City vehicle camera movement. We're going to take these two folders, or two files, sorry, and we're going to put it in our Vice City folder under the Clio, just like we did with the frame limiter. Drag and drop. Super easy. And last but not least, this fixes a bunch of things around the map, uh, just makes it look a little bit more lively. I don't know the technical details behind this fix. And I'm not going to pretend like I do, but if you're already doing all this and you're confident with yourself, definitely go ahead and add in this last patch. I'm going to pull up our Vice City folder here. Now, all of these things right here, we already have the limit adjuster, so you don't have to go ahead and drag that over. We're just going to go ahead and drag the LOD lights. All these things have VC at the front, standing for Vice City. We're going to drag that into just the plain directory, not the Clio folder. Bam. Just like that. Now you have all the mods and patches you need to install. And you should be good to go ahead and boot up your game. Immediately, you'll be able to tell some differences if you've already booted up the game before. It's going to look much clearer on the main menu here. And you'll also notice in the bottom left-hand corner that it says Clio version 2. Point whatever. So that's how you know that you've done things successfully. 
can go ahead in here and change your resolution to match your monitor. Enable the widescreen, but do not turn off the frame limiter. The mod that we've installed does this automatically. If you turn off this frame limiter, it's going to shoot up to like 2,000 frames and the game becomes unplayable. You're going to have issues driving around. I believe I already have a save folder. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And bam, here we are. You can tell that things are fitting the screen properly. The HUD is in the correct location. Things are going to feel really smooth while playing it. Um, another way you can tell if you've done things correctly, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, is you can push Alt and the Z key, and it will enable this um, overlay. If you go into the settings and you click HUD layout, click performance, Make sure you click whatever corner you want it to appear in. Click FPS. And then go back and click Done. Click Alt and Z again. And you'll see in the top right corner of your screen how many frames per second you're playing at. If it's at 60 or 59 or in this area, then you know you've installed the frame limiter correctly. Let me just show you guys what happens when you turn the frame limiter off. So turning it off, back into the game. Now it's up at 174, 190, and this is what creates issues for the game. When I try to reverse the car, it has issues sometimes. Another thing while you're driving and you let go of the gas, the car will like instantly stop. It's, it's tricky. So that's how you can tell if you've done it successfully is just enable the frame limiter or the frame counter within your graphics card but generally you're going to be able to tell just by reversing and driving around the map if you're having issues reversing or if you're driving around a corner and you let go of the gas for example and the gas or the car begins to stop on its own then you know that you have an issue So another thing is you can see I can move my camera angle around, which you normally can't do with your mouse. You're stuck with this standard uh, view. And um, that's pretty much it. The, the, this is how you fix Vice City or Steam in 2021. I hope this helped. I'll be checking the comments to help anyone who's having some issues if I can. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. It definitely helps me. I'm looking to hit a thousand subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next guide. Thank you for watching.